Um, so here's a question. What the fuck do you know about Action Park? Zero. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm about I want to you, attempt to rectify that very quickly. I want you to picture in your head the kid from The Simpsons with the, that works at every burger joint, right? The pre, the, the the crackly voice teenager. Uh, I, oh, Mr. Papadopoulos is gonna kill me. Now picture like a thousand of them, and oh, picture okay. that they run an amusement park, and. There is no such they, there's no such thing as rules or safety or anything, and this is now put them in their own amusement park in New Jersey in the eighties. Okay, hold on a second. Action Park's popularity went hand in hand with a reputation for poorly designed rides. I'm not trained. Now hold and- on. Now hold on. <laughs> now take those pimply faced teenage kids from that um, the kid like take them they're running these parks okay yeah okay uh-huh. now keep now feed them beer yeah they're drunk okay now keep feed, you feeding them beer okay now uh-huh. families and people and kids are all going up there new jersey in the 80s going on rides okay um now right across from the water park is a go-kart park where you can speed right. through when go-karts Excellent. Now divide this entire facility by a real live highway. Okay. Right down Good. the middle. Oh, oh, ex- oh. Action park, baby. Okay. So okay. I. Okay. Right. Okay. So so I watched a a, a a film, a documentary called Class Action Park, yesterday, <laughs> because yeah, one I'm of the it? nicknames for Action Park was Class Action Park. Uh, there was, go ahead. The, like even the tiniest browse on this wiki article, I'm seeing just all sorts of shit that I shouldn't be seeing on a fucking uh, it park, is uh, page. Okay, now take another Simpsons character, your monorail man, right? Yep. Uh, yep. Now fuse him via fusion dance with Tony Soprano. Got it. And you get Fat un- Tony in this in this yeah. analogy. Sure, Fat Tony, that'll work. Yeah, Fat Tony. And now you get Uncle Gene, who's okay. who's basically a, 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 a character who uh, him and his partner got kicked off of Wall Street for fraud and and all kinds of cash crimes in the 80s. You got, you got <laughs> the fucking slimiest motherfucker in the world to get kicked out of Wall Street in the 1980s for fraud. In the 80s, he got kicked out. Okay, so then what does he do? He goes up state to he goes up to Jersey. He finds a, a, a nice ski resort, and the ski resort is gonna make him money. And so, like, it's doing. It, but the problem is that Jersey winters are too short. So, in order to so then they start doing things like artificial snow and whatever, but that's not good enough. Yeah. So the summertime months are a waste of money. What am I buying here? Why did I waste my money on this land? So it's time to create our own amusement park. It's time to create Action Park, right? But um, what the fuck is an engineer? What the fuck is any sort of safety regulation? What is that? Who cares? I don't care. Make whatever is fun. And like he draws on a napkin a Sonic the Hedgehog loop de loop a a a diagonal line and then a circle and then and then another spout and then he says make this and then they make that as a water slide and this becomes the introduction of uh what is going to be a real place where they act and he has the money to build it and they and they're like okay uh what about insurance what what are we gonna do about what about insurance what about it we are insured look look at this insurance company that is insuring everything we do that is totally not my own fake company located in the cayman islands look that i we are insured is mine yeah 
So this fucking movie, dude, is it's so um Johnny Knoxville uh, did I want to say a, an actual film about something called Action Point, which was like a narrative version of like what yeah. this whole thing was, but literally just insane drunk teenagers running a fucking the most dangerous and deadly theme park uh, like, of all time. <laughs> I have to say it, there it's it's a good. This you said it was Class Action Park is the name of the, the, the name of the documentary. Yeah, because like I really got to read this wiki article because we're talking two paragraphs and it reads like a back of box quote for a fascinating film. I'm... Its popularity went hand in hand with a reputation for poorly designed rides, undertrained underage staff, drunk guests and staff, and a consequently poor safety record. At least six people are known to have died as a result of mishaps and was given such nicknames as Traction Park, Accident Park, Class Action Park, and Friction Park. Little effort was made by regulators to address those issues, despite the park's history of repeat violations. The like... management resorted to illegal financial schemes to keep itself solvent, which led to indictments, some of whom, like founder Gene, pled guilty. Yeah, no, you have to understand. This is an incredible story. It is like the most American story. It is the tale of Gene, Uncle Gene, who uh, 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 believed in his, his own park. And like, so the way that they describe it is like Walt Disney, like like uh, uh, um, amusement. The person who designs an amusement park, it like you can see their personality in the park. And Walt Disney is the kind of guy who wanted to. Um, in particular, he wanted to relive and re-experience the frontier, a little bit of the Wild West, and a little bit of that futurism from the, you know uh, uh, the turn of the century about what the what 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 the the future of America could become, and that kind of determines what Disney is, right? Or or the early parks. Um, this is a guy, Uncle Gene is a guy who says, fuck the rules. I hate rules. I hate rules so much. I fucking hate them. God, fuck you. Fuck everything. And I'm going to do my own park with blackjack and hookers. And so, nobody's going to tell me what to do. No one's going to tell you what to do. If you come to Action Park, you control the action. Right? That's you know the big the, thing. This reminds me of, uh, there's a guy who I follow on TikTok who used to be a, a big shot lawyer at a massive firm. And he describes that, like, every single year the same thing happens. Some guy comes in and starts going, guys, there's this crazy hustle. And for some reason, nobody's doing it as all the lawyers in the room start putting their faces <laughs> in their hands. So It's like, I don't know why nobody's doing it, but we can make tons of money, like, right now. So Class Action Park is particularly great because it walks you through like the escalating narrative of just um your full on like lord of the flies style uh, uh 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 situation here and and it can't be understated how important it is that there's infinite footage of people getting hurt and fucked up and they're all and it's part of the promotional material practically like how there's no one whistling to guide anyone anywhere there's no crowd control it's just fucking go 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 um and like it starts with like the idea of this loop-de-loop -loop on the napkin right which it was designed by there these coked up designers that are pretty much rejected from other amusement parks that uncle gene got to, to to make his brides and they're like, okay, we've made the loop-de-loop. -loop. Now how are we going to test it? Let's put some crash test dummies through it. Okay, they go through the loop-de-loop, -loop and they came out, and they were just pieces and parts, right? Okay, now what do we do? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's redesign it until they come through without being broken into pieces and parts. Okay, now that they've come through intact, how do we get a, uh, someone to go through this? All right, Uncle Gene stands at the end with $100 in his in his pocket and goes uh, to his employees who are 16 year olds who wants a hundred bucks go through the loop de loop get a hundred bucks <laughs> bunch of kids line up go through the thing and get fucking concussed on the round right 
and then they realize that like sometimes the traction of the full loop de loop, even if you wet them all the way up and it's a water slide, is not yeah. enough to clear the full thing. So they have to create a trap door at the top after kids come out all fucking discombobulated and busted up, bleeding, dislocated shoulders, all kinds of shit. They open up the trap door at the top to get the stuck people out that they finally after the after doing the, the, the human tests and they find teeth lodged into the top of the fucking loop de loop. Because people were going around, and as they were clearing, like, as they were clearing the full 360, if you don't have enough speed, you're going to drop down before you actually hit the back wall, and your teeth will knock against the fucking tubing. And, and, and just, embed. And embed in the plastic, and then you come bleeding out the other side. <laughs> and this is the introduction to what's going to be happening well, they, at this park. Well, like, are you, are you, you know, you, this is, this is fun because I was just reading about engineering shenanigans just the other day and about the responsibility of an engineer and how seriously the, that responsibility is taken. Have you ever heard of something called the ritual of the engineer? Uh, no, but I have heard of OSHA. So the ritual of the engineer is, is is the Hippocratic Oath of the Engineering World. Mm -hmm. And it was invented by Rudyard Kipling. And the idea is, is that you, you clear your programs and you've graduated and you're going to become an engineer. And you go to a gigantic pile of nondescript iron rings. Mm -hmm. And you are to take one of these iron rings and place it on your right or hand pinky finger. If you're left-handed, it goes on your left hand pinky finger. And then you swear an oath to seriously take into consideration your responsibilities because they may be, uh, if you screw something up or cut corners, you could kill somebody by not doing your due diligence. And the reason why that ring, that iron ring sits on your dominant hand is so that every time you work on something, it bangs into that to remind you of your vow to do your <laughs> job correctly so that you don't kill people. Yeah. Well, uh, fuck off with that. Uncle Gene <laughs> is got a park to build, okay? And Uncle Gene operates differently. Here's how Uncle Gene operates, okay? People were cutting in line and, and with uh, people were cutting up uh, uh, into line without tickets getting on rides. And Uncle Gene was like, how do we stop these, sh these shit kids from coming up and sneaking rides in without a ticket? We got to scare them somehow. So then somehow. one of the employees walks into the office one day and sees Uncle Gene <laughs> holding a cattle prod. And, okay. And the kid goes, uh, what? What the fuck's going on? And Uncle Gene turns it on and zaps himself in the chest. <laughs> and falls over and the kid goes oh my god what is happening and then uncle gene gets up and goes no 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 it's okay it's fake but here's what we're gonna do <laughs> we gotta get someone to come up and try to pretend to steal to, to, to steal a ride without without a ticket and you're gonna take this cattle prod and you're gonna zap them and then everyone's going to see that kid fall over, and then they're going to tell the stories of how someone got killed for trying to, to steal a ride at Action Park, and then no one's going to do it anymore. <laughs> hard I mean... cut. Hard cut to the front office where they're getting calls from hundreds of parents who are complaining that their children saw a park employee murder someone live at Action Park. Of course. <laughs> With the cattle prod because they went down and never got up and were carried away on a stretcher. <laughs> That's the oath that Gene takes. You have to understand. Different energy. Fuck your, your ring. Okay? Uh, I'm gonna do a fucking episode on this because they they do a fucking episode on goddamn everything. Who? I bet you if I type in defunct land. Oh, you're not familiar oh. there. Uh, they oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just the sound cut out. Yeah. Oh my my mistake. Yeah, defunct land. Here, we ah, I mean, action park. It's it like uh, honestly like I'm gonna tell you right now, class action park like is it's everything you need to know. 
oh, fucking you can amazing. Watch both because you get you get more injury footage. I bet. And it's and they're promoting it, you know. So, um, I mean, we're talking everything from like, okay, like Tarzan swings and and cliff dives, right? Where you're swinging and then you just and you do a clear and then you drop. But you're Tarzan swinging into insanely cold, fresh river water with salmon in it, where people Wait, are. Wait, why? Why? Because it's, why are it's, the fish it's still a, in it? because it's a it's an uncleared live body of water, <laughs> and you're dropping in, and then your body is going into shock because of all the water, and people who can't swim are are freezing up and and practically uh, almost drowning, and because like lifeguards are not a fucking thing like there are there but they don't give a shit you have people that will go underneath and then no one clears when someone has dropped so other people just drop on top of them so in some cases and uh people are are basically just like all ye yelling and chanting at you like if you can't fucking swim they just go swim pussy do it you fucking loser as they all get drunk and watch um and people who basically get dragged out of the river all the lifeguard does is walk, drag them out. What? And these are again teenagers, people, six years, six to fucking you know, eighteen year olds. You get dragged out, and they write CFS on your bracelet. That me, and it just means can't fucking swim. And then they send you on your way, so that anyone else can see you're just oh, you're you go up to the next ride, and okay, you can do it, but everyone knows you can't fucking swim. Ha ha, and that's it. <laughs> I mean. Man, I want to go to Action Park, man. <laughs> Legendary. Okay. So the other, and then not to mention the other, uh, 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 the other drop uh, that they had was that, like again, like cliffside, no checking who's beneath you. And you just you see footage of like twenty people all lined up partying on a cliff, and just every couple seconds, someone just does a flip off of it, and then people at the bottom are just 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 peep, bodies just raining. On whoever's below, and it's like, yeah, whatever, we're doing our shit. Who cares? Um, and and of course, because again, live body of water. Uh, there are large black snakes in the water, because you know why would we clear that out? You control the action at Action Park. <laughs> okay. All right, I don't want to go to Action Park anymore. Okay, that's the line for me. You've got Uncle Gene, who's like, you know what's fucking fun? like white river rafting so why don't we why don't we recreate that on our own thing with a tube that you sit in and then you tube down this insanely and basically whatever the the, the rides were designed to be gene would come in and add his own little twists at the last second to make it more actiony and some of them included like um i want to say like literally just a uh, uh um like Sonic bonus level style, like sideways walls where you go up with the tube and a death right. drop on the other side. And Good. people watching to see who's going to go over. And as you get close to that death drop, people are like, oh, and then as you survive, they go, oh, now you probably go flying off of one of the tubes at, the, at some point because they also have, again, reminder, no lifeguard really caring about what's going on and no concept of wait, stop go wait stop just go 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 so you yeah, fall off your tube it. you're now standing in the water you're trying to get back on your tube and right behind you comes the next group on their own tube so you're just getting clipped off <laughs> of traffic jams but piles up people of course are again drunk getting up starting fist fights in the water angry teenagers and as the fist fight good. causes a bigger good. traffic like jam this. more people behind them are coming for, with their extra with the tubes from the top i like this it's I like it's, this a lot. it's it's choice it's fucking choice this, um, this, is the, this is the 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 fucking like this is the unregulated fucking jersey wet dream of a theme park and and like it's a very <laughs> The footage is, is is it's quite incredible because being being eighties Jersey as you do, um I mean, yo, bored white kids is all I can say. Just bored white kids in the eighties. As far as the eye can see. I mean at one point like a young Lane Staley is literally being interviewed like, yeah, man, Action Park is great. Fucking you know, yeah. like Oh, go ahead. 
the 80s like it, there's there's a certain because there's people we're talking to right now that don't remember the 80s because they weren't there and i mean i barely remember them right but I, I i existed in them for a small period and the 80s was like a different time in ways that is difficult to appreciate but the easiest way to the easiest way to understand how the 80s were different is to go watch back to the future because when you watch back to the future uh, Biff isn't going to ruin your car and he's not going to like fuck up your essay or cost you the good summer job. He's like, I'm going to kill you and rape your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. And this is yeah. like a PG movie villain. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, absolutely. And like, so you ha now you have a place where kids are going um coming up from new york or, or wherever nearby because it's literally like inventing the concept of a water park practically and they're making the rules so anyone who wants to do insane dares any like anyone that wants to just like all the bored shit that kids would do like sneaking into abandoned places climbing dangerous things it's like no we've given you the place to do that you know um and it's supervised in big air quotes they have the, like like one of the they have like a wave pool where um it's like this it's this, it's this slow it's an enclosed place where people are shoulder to shoulder um getting fucking launched into the air and then under the water and there are so many injuries just at that pool alone that like anyone who is a new lifeguard for the day is brought in to like what they call the death zone which comes after the grave zone and in you sit oh, yes, and you yes. watch over the death zone and basically within the first 5 minutes of opening uh, or within the first 20 minutes of opening you will have to rescue f no fewer than three people from drowning instantly and that's your that if you can do that on your as your first day as lifeguard then okay you can probably handle this gig um oh good oh, yeah that's excellent i mean like it just goes on and on and like every step of the way it's like yeah so meanwhile across the street at the go-kart place uh, which also uh, the ad adults were came for the go karts as well because go karting is fun. Uh, keep Fun's in shit. mind, keep in mind that the go karts are a um, right next to an active highway. Yeah. Uh, B, the go karts can go fifty to sixty miles per hour once you like tweak some shit on them, and C, they're twenty feet away from the beer tent. <laughs> And D, did you did you actually mean to say fifty sixty mph? I said mph, not kilometers. American. That's like seventy five to hundred kph. And some of the that's people, highway speed. And some of the employees are like, yeah. So we took them on the highway sometimes, and there's footage of them on the highway going woo. So. Now, they're 20 feet from the beer tent, okay? So people would, of course, have a good time and then go and continue to have that good time. Oh, it's a great time out here. Uncle Gene says, you know what would be awesome? If we set a, a, a prize for anyone who can make it around the track in under 55 seconds... You will be greeted by a bunch of bikini babes, and they'll give you like a bottle of champagne. They'll spray you down with a bottle or whatever. It'll be like, ah, oh, you want a the big Grand old Prix celebration? Or like that. Let's encourage the drunken go karters next to the highway to go even faster. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. You know? Yeah. This so, sounds yeah. This sounds like a amusement park built by and for that suspicious generation that just happened to have its risk inhibitions fucked up due to decades of lead poisoning. I mean, there's a lot there's a lot going on. Um but the perfect the perfect combination of of like that right disaffected youth boredom jersey the 80s 
and a character like Uncle Gene with infinite bankroll because, of course, he was mafia-affiliated. And, of course, he had all the locals in all the local politicians on his payroll so that he never had in, to deal with any Percy? lawsuits. <laughs> I know. I don't know, Har man. The implication that you're making that 1985 New Jersey might have had a few corrupt politicians is outlandish to me. And and so you just put that all together into the perfect storm, and and um and the employees again are the same age as the attendees, and it's just like bored, high, drunk kids trying to fucking pass the day up. Uh, a ton of which are not even really su like there's security supervising posts, but really the kids are just going up to the bank shack because there's a bank shack uh, uh, up the hill. Um, yeah, like it. It really is just. It's a perfect storm. It is the. It is a. It is a absolutely complete picture of that era and you're watching it and i remember i heard about action park and i heard about it as like that legendary place that was so insane they shut down because kids died on the fucking rides and it's like and then you're watching the full story of it and it's like okay this is this is escalating like there's only so many teeth and fractures and bones broken and people being carried out on stretchers um Oh, by the way, to which they have a, a, a their accident procedure was pretty much like okay, if you're skidded, if you have like uh, let's say you're going downhill on the Alpine slide, which is um, by the way uh, just a so it's a bobsled track. It's a bo it's just it's just a bobsled track um, where you're sitting okay. on a fucking a, 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 you're sitting on nothing and you're flying down a bobsled track. Um, you and you you go flying off of it, which many people tell the stories of how they do, and then they get massive burns and broken everything's, and they bring you up to the repair cabin, basically to the to the the medic cabin. And they spray you down with alcohol and iodine, and just like you burn on the spot, and like there's a circle, and it's like, and if you can stay in the circle, then you'll get like a, a prize or whatever. As they spray you down with the fucking with the the weird orange oh, solution, and then it. send you on I your way. It. Um, all of this can only go so far before you're like, okay, but when, like, but the, there's bodies, right? And it's like, oh, there's absolutely bodies. And they oh, get yeah. to them. And it's fucked. It's insanely fucked. And it's just one of those things where you're like, what do you think someone who starts this kind of journey does when confronted with the ultimate, like, uh-oh, shit just got real? And the only answer is your Uncle Gene, you triple down. Cover it up. You could you triple gotta, you down. You gotta cover it up. You make it go away. Everything you can do. You know? Um, yeah. So you 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 have people what you have people doing their 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 uh rafting and um to keep the 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 water nice and turbulent, you keep you put fans under the water. Of course these are ungrounded fans because you just literally just put fans in the water. And one of them breaks, and then someone come, falls out of their raft and touches the open fucking electric broken fan circuit and just gets fucking fried. And it's like, yeah, cool. this is this is what we do, you know. And they just and and like, what do you, do you shut the ride down? No, not really. You just kind of keep it going, you know. Um, I mean, absolute madness. You know, uh, 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 and 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 further examples like it just it goes and it fucking goes, and you're and you're kind of like okay, so, um, at some point does, like does anyone step in? And it's like yeah, it it went until the mid nineties, and then it shut down essentially. Yeah. You know, um, but like it it just it is a fucking ride, man. Like like you know a pun unintended going through every single aspect of this park and you're like literally nothing there's not a single thing in this park that was safe it's it, it, like the food that you bought and ate was expired you know like they, of and, course it was of course it was <laughs> you know like and here's all the tricks to keep it tasting fresh like literally everything you know there's a there's a minor detail that somebody uh in the live chat mentioned that puts a slightly more context which apparently in the early 80s, the uh, legal drinking age in New Jersey was lower than that of much of the country. It was like 18 or 19. Dude, 
There is it definitely footage. adds to the problem. There is footage of the legendary uh, staff parties that would happen, like after hours, of just like there is what looks to be a twelve-year-old shotgunning a beer. <laughs> Like the can is, is he's holding the can with two hands, shotgunning a beer, and you're just like, what, what, why are you filming? And it's like, no, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, it, I, I mean, like, I, there's every, every it's so chock full of just madness. Like every aspect of it, everything I just described, it doesn't matter. Go fucking see it for yourself. You know, um, I, I, I like, yeah, I just, there, I'm, there's so, I'm, I'm trying to like, there is a, um, uh, 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 not the, not the, what was the other ride? Anyway, whatever. Go fucking watch Class Action Park. The Child Decapitator? Was that what I, it was called? So, no, but yes, because what it essentially yeah. was. <laughs> What it was, was they had a, um, it's like a, a, a water slide, and it does the 90 degree angle dip, and then it goes 45 again, and then, you know, so it's like, it's like the staircase down, That's, and what you're no. supposed, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get launched in the air, land, and get relaunched, and then land again, right? And so they right. build, and so they build all the rides, uh, with the specification of, hey, if you're the average kid that works here, you're... You know, again, 16, 17, you're about yay high, you're about yay tall, and, 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 and you weigh about this much. It'll be fine for you. And anything bigger or smaller than that, who gives a fuck? I, that's not my problem. Like, you, I mean, you control the action. You might not make it far enough. You might overshoot the fucking thing horribly. So so everyone does their, their, their thing on it, and people are getting, you know, they're having fun, and it generally works the way it's supposed to for the most part. Until one kid comes along and just somehow finds a way to run and slide in, a, in in such a manner that he picks up more speed off the first bump than any other kid did. And instead of re-landing on the slide, he just launches all the way off. <laughs> and never retouches the slide. <laughs> Which is, again, like... T like feet in the air like stories high and just launches all the way and just eat shit because what's at the bottom is not a pool it's just grass and just eat shit on the fucking <laughs> grass and again gets gurneyed out on a stretcher you know well at least it was soft right well the key the kid was okay after that but you know unconscious on landing certainly and then they were like okay that was one ride. Maybe we got to dial that one back, you know? I'm, oh, God, dude. Like, it, it's, and it's so incredible to watch as, like, this thing comes and continues to exist and basically advertise the fact that, like, like, the, the way, the way that the, they, they interview former guests and the way that they put it is, like, yeah, no, like, we tried to kill ourselves for fun. That's basically what the 80s was. It was a blur of us trying to kill ourselves for fun. And uh, this gave us the means to do it. And, you know, and, cool. and and yeah, and like when there's money covering up at just about every aspect of it, you can keep that shit going for a solid 15, 20 years before like you get raided and like actually like police yeah, are kicking you know, doors down. Uh, to we were thinking which... about uh, we were thinking about driving our cars at each other, you know, playing a game of chicken with no seatbelts because that's for pussies. But we thought, you know. We'd really want to kick it up a notch and go down to Action Park. So every time one of the thousands of people that fucking busted themselves up took Uncle Gene to court, he would never settle. He would always take the lawsuit all the way. He would make it as long and as excruciating and as painful as possible. Um, and through a bunch of bullshit... And having everyone in the pocket, they won 93% of their cases, <laughs> right? But even for the few who they lost to, where they were then forced to pay out, he just wouldn't pay it. 
because fuck off. What are you gonna? Then they have to come. Then they have to come after me again. What are you gonna do, right? And I could win that one. So and eventually, like they're like the first time the bailiffs just came down, and the police police rolled up and kicked doors down, and they like they like uh, uh, rushed like the cash register. And, you know, pointed, had guns pointed and everything and went like, yeah, we got to go. Like, you you must pay now. Um, and then, like, at after that first one, it became such a common occurrence that they literally just, like, they just roll up, politely knock on the door and just be like, yep, yeah, just give us what you got. Like, give us some cash. Essentially, essentially turning the state into a protection racket. It's like, because he just refused to, to like, to pay anything uh yeah no it is it is um yeah it is a it is a a fucking master class in no rules since you know self-regulation and in uh uh like what happens in a world without engineers in a world where not a single engineer can be you don't found. need them you don't need that <laughs> shit engineers are shot on site at action park just just uh, weld this part yeah. to it, um, and then it'll that'll be stable. Class action park. Go watch it. Uh, I, I I just told you a whole bunch of it, but there's still a ton more. It's absolutely worth it. I I mean I heard the legend, but I couldn't believe it upon seeing. I couldn't believe it. What the fuck, Jersey? What the fuck, man? Of course it's Jersey. <laughs> of course. This is this is a Jersey this is a Jersey story. Yeah. Um you know, and there's all kinds of that's, legacy. That's great. Yeah, it's it's the best. It's the fu- it's the fucking best. Um and again, like make no mistake, it's goddamn morbid and horrifying when you get especially to like the the people that died and they're like let's go talk to the families about what happened. Let's go see like how fucking insane this goes. Like it's all in it's all included. It's not just the 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 madness. It's like this is the consequences of it as well. People lost their fucking kids, and Uncle Gene doesn't give a shit. Um, Those children knew what they were signing up for when they came to Action Park. Literally, literally, Action Park is not responsible for our downhill dry bobsled run killing your son because the ride was located here and your son was launched so far away that he rolled down the hill and landed on rocks that are like far enough away that it's the rocks that are responsible yeah the rocks aren't part of the theme park no he got launched so far away that the rocks are responsible not the ride this is our legal defense Take it or leave it. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, you know. So, um, anyway, that's a that's a fucking that's a doozy right there. Uh, yeah, out of bounds, exactly. Can't can't sue me for out of the ring, you know. Man, theme parks are fucked up. Like in general, I like a good theme park. Um, but every time I see a video of like. A, a ride rocking backwards and then like volunteer people have to run up and hold it down with their body weight so that it doesn't fall over and just murder a crowd is it it's kind of horrifying and as someone is, who has gotten pretty big generally above the weight uh, uh, and size of like a lot of these rides on comfort levels i'm kind of just like yeah i'm not gonna push my luck on that zip line y- you know what i mean like i'm just not gonna push it I uh, I made a decision in my life that I didn't... You know when you make a decision but you didn't realize you had because it wasn't a conscious decision? Mm-hmm. It just turned out that you just were unwilling. And that decision was uh, any theme park that moves, I would not put one foot on a ride. Wow, okay, okay. Any, any theme park that goes from location to location, meaning this Ferris wheel or some shit, has to be completely oh, disassembled oh, 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 and reassembled. The, okay, okay, okay. Moves as in like the yeah, the the carnival itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, I'm not no, nope, not gonna reassembly. Do it. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> because the reassembled because ride. If I go down to mm-hmm. La Ronde or Six Flags or something, I can at least assume 
that the ride as is has been functioning as is for a little while. The monster has without, been there since the fucking like 80s yeah. or, or 70s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even without human maintenance. But if I go to the traveling carnival show Ferris wheel, a Ferris wheel, the most common ride of all, I have to trust not only that it was disassembled in the last location properly, but that it was recently assembled in this location properly, which I don't because it's being assembled by fucking carnies. No, not and when, gonna do it. And when their ring knocks against the bolt, they go, "Get this fucking thing on!" They <laughs> they flip it off into the into the, the nearest water uh, 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 bank. They, you know what? What engineering? What testing? What weight? What calculations? What math? You know? Uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was a fan of roller coasters quite a bit growing up. I love roller coasters, and um. I, I still do. It's been it's been forever, you know. But um, fu yeah, absolutely. Anything traveling can go fuck itself. That's 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 a, that's a pretty good plan. Um, I remember when I was in Japan and I was at Universal Studios and like the Harry Potter ride that I was on like got stuck or something, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm not too worried about it. Everybody around here seems really professional and they all seem to be taking their jobs seriously. Uh, I would not have felt that way had I gotten stuck on anything at even my old local fucking place, La Ronde, where I vividly remember every time somebody running the ride looked at me, it was with disdain, annoyance mm -hmm, that they had mm -hmm, to manage mm -hmm. the ride that they were in charge of. I mean, it's shit. I mean, I remember when I was younger and I learned the lesson of the nearby one that's set up inside the, the mall across from my place uh, back as a kid. And I went to whatever it was. It was some crazy ride that turns you upside down. And like, yeah. of course, all my money falls out of my pocket because I don't know oh, what the time. fuck. I don't know. I'm, you know, and uh, I'm like, hey, my shit dropped out of my pocket. Can I? And the dude just laughs. <laughs> just lie like you as you're walking out like, hey, can I get my thing? That felt the dude just no. get, get the no, fuck out of here. Good. Get the fuck out. That's our you tip. You know what happened? That's our you tip. You know what happened the last time somebody did that? A couple, uh, about 10 years ago, that fucking kid hopped a fence to get his hat back at the Six Flags. Mm hmm. And somebody riding the ride kicked their head off. It's gone. Uh... If it fell out of your pocket or off your body, it's gone. Yeah. Give up. It's gone. Jesus Christ, man.